is a round five of the Lock, Stock and Tackle League down at Eastney Beach. I'm at a prime, 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 prime spot, right in the middle of those barracks, which is absolutely fabulous. Um, usually every time I come down here in this spot or by the end, we get some fish. For baits, I've got a peeler crab, sand eel, squid, and some little joey mackerels. These are perfect. I like to use them out on the kayak because I can put the whole thing on. But with things like this for like ra rays and stuff, you just cut them in half, stick them on a hook, choo, chug it out. Pennell's best. If you're gonna use like a whole mackerel or half a mackerel, use a pennell. You don't have to, but it is, it is best. Um, oh yeah, and I've got, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I've got some ragworm, man. Always gotta have ragworm when you go fishing, always. It's like a staple. It's like if you make some toast, it has to have butter. If you go fishing, you have to have ragworm. But, right, I've got about 20 minutes to get ready, guys. Uh, probably less than that now. 15, man. I'm gonna get my baits ready. Hopefully, we can come out with some fish. I am being trailed at third place by that gentleman right there, Andy Smithson. He is right behind me by one point, man. So what we need to do tonight is like throw stones at him. High tide tonight's at 10.30. I don't think it's a really big tide either. So we fish it two hours up and two hours down. Hopefully, man, I'm feeling some fish tonight, dude. I don't want to jinx it though. I'm gonna go get ready. Baits are in the water. I think I've just crossed over this guy over here on the first cast. I practiced with a five ounce lead. And then I came out here and put a six ounce lead on and chucked it and it just, I'm thinking though, it doesn't look too bad. There's a big bow in the line. I might get lucky. I don't even know. So we'll have to see, man. Um, I'm gonna go now, get my second rig ready and get ready for some fish, man. There's gonna be some fish tonight, I'm telling you. I think the thing that sucks really badly about fishing this time of year is the spider crabs. I don't know what's going on here. I can't cast straight today if my life depended on it. I've been snipped off by spider crab already. Hopefully, man, it gets better. It will. Can't get any worse. So what I'm doing is I got my peeler crabs. I was gonna put a whole one on, but because I snipped off, I've got to resort to just half. I'll smash that on there and I'll whip it on with me handy dandy bait elastic. Snip that off, boom. And there's a nice juicy bait for the smooth hounds, hopefully. And then I'll stick a worm on my other hook. I might come in real close here in a minute, try and get some bass action. I'm gonna snip my worm, snip the head off and the tail off. And that worm on there just like so. I'm not gonna put any, the last one I put a crab leg on. I'm not gonna do that this time and see what happens. First hour in, nothing yet. Nothing but snotty old weed. But my next bait that I'm sending out is gonna be like, it's like half a sand eel and a ragworm tipped with a crab leg. I got nothing to lose. It is a bit slow, but to be fair, I'm just going for big fish tonight, man. Smooth hound, rays, that's what we want. Fingers crossed. One hour down and we got nothing, but it's okay. We still got three hours left, man. Three hours, anything can happen. When I first got out here, I was leaving my baits out for half an hour at a time, but I don't think that I'm gonna be able to do that because of the spider crabs. It's a tough one, man, to be honest with you. Do I leave it and just wait? Because what's coming back is the worms are stripped, the crab's still there, we just sit and wait, man. Come on, summer fish. That's what we want, summer fish. Bass, smooth hound, ray, mullet. Really not fishing for mullet right now. Um, 
Gernard. I was hoping for a Bream. I don't really know if that's gonna happen. I haven't seen any fish come up yet. None. That's not a bad thing for me right now. No. All right, I'm gonna go wash this raw, man. Okay. So we've got a bit of a tide run now. A lot of a tide run. But what I've done, because I'm only fishing with big baits, I've taken my two hook clip down off and I've opted for an up and over. And I've also thought, my thought is, the smooth hounds come, fish come, you know, whatever. Out in the sea, they're not peeled. So I do what I do on the kayak and I've put on a whole crab. And hopefully, I mean, I've just peeled the top bit off and maybe, maybe that'll entice something a bit different. So we'll see. Two hours in, man, and I've seen nothing out of 30 anglers come up off this beach. Nothing. It's hardcore, man. It's hardcore right now. Hopefully I can get something with this up and over, man. Um, I'll fish both still. I've got a Pompey loop and I'll alternate. I'll fish that for one cast, the up and over for one cast, and eventually we'll get a fish. I still have the blue crab, which will be last cast. Two hours in, man. We got two hours left. Come on, man. This is, something has to happen. <laughs> I've got to get this line in again. The, the weed is unbelievable. I mean, it's not a lot of it, but it's that really stringy, snotty stuff. I'm hoping that at high tide, we get like a little bit of something, man. But I'm gonna have to get this rod in because this guy over here is gonna cast out and I don't want him to cross me. All right, guys, this is what we're dealing with. This crap right here, man. Ugh. I'm basically fishing on the shore. I can't hold any bait anywhere. Sucks. Ugh. Right, I'm gonna get this big old lump of crab out. That guy right there. Boom. And I'm gonna try, hopefully, I can hold a little bit. I just need high tide to come. Then the next one, it's, it's going like just, I'm just going to bloop, drop it right there, man, and see what happens. This is unbelievable, man. Absolutely nothing. Not one bite, not nothing. This is the kind of stuff, man, that makes me want to go lure 100%. Un unreal. Not one bite all night long. Not even a sniff all my baits are coming back untouched i don't know what to do in this match at all it sucks <laughs> ah come on fish i know there's fish out there. there's big old giant sea and you can't tell me there is not one fish just chilling who's hungry should have brought my lure rod i had fish by now that's it, man. We got five minutes left. I'm pulling in. I'm going to pull in probably another lump of weed. We'll head over and see who's won the match. I'm thinking this dude over here with the smooth hound has won. There's been no fish. Anybody want to buy a century? <laughs> All right. I'm going to reel this in and I'm going to head over to the van and we're going to see how many people blank tonight, man. Golly. Hard, very hard. Loads of weed, a few spider crabs. Fish caught tonight were hounds, dogfish and bats. We'll do the longest fish first. So in third place, it was Darren Dixon with a hound of 90, 79 centimetres. So. <laughs> well done, Darren. Well done. Down, Darren. In second place was a hound of 80 centimetres from a son, Callum Ruland. Nice one. Okay. Wrong pile. <laughs> 80 pounds. Oh, uh, 50 50 pounds. Thank you very much. And longest fish of the night was another hound of 92 centimetres for Chris Wingfield. Uh, well done. Oh, it was a beast like 80 pounds. Oh, thank you very much. It's bait, man. Yeah, it's <laughs> bait, man. Right, so overall on the night, in third place with one fish of 80 centimetres was Callum Ruland. Well done, Callum. 
Well done. <laughs> Second overall on the night with one fish. Chris Wigfield. Uh, well done. Number 50, some more bait money back. Brilliant. <laughs> and winner on the night with two fish for 100 centimetres was Dave Ware. Nice. Well done, well, Dave. Well, 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 that's all right. Well done. Thanks very much, everyone, for turning up. Sorry about the fish couldn't be here tonight, but I can't remember when the next one is. It's next month. <laughs> 17th. 17th, well done. June. Yeah, so hopefully there's more fish next match. That's what you said last time. Well, <laughs> they got to turn up sooner or later, haven't they? Yeah. Right, See you all later. Right, right, I must go home and get right, guys. some sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> well, that's it, man. On my way. Time to get something to eat. Hopefully, the next match, the damn fish show up man